ठीक है ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट और वन ऑफ द डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज वन ऑफ द डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट एज वेल एज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स सीरियसली स्पीकिंग इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो यू टेक योर टाइम एंड आई विल गिव यू द आंसर इन द फॉलोइंग सी फंक्शन लेट n ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू n इट इज सेइंग दैट n इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू m एंड दिस फंक्शन इट इज फाइंडिंग द gcd How many recursive calls are made by this function? How many recursive calls are made by this function? They they have given the option theta log n base two omega n log two log. Okay, so you try first, then I will give. So in worst case, try to find in worst case what is going to be the number of recursive calls. See here it is asking how many recursive calls you are going to get. They are not asking you the time complexity. Okay, so only they are asking you how many recursive calls. so how many gcd function call you are going to get this algorithm even i have taught you in the class to find the gcd and i have told you that from this topic they have asked one gate question that is euclidean euclidean gcd euclidean algorithm it was there okay to find the gcd is and if you don't know if you are not getting any answer if you are not sure then you can skip it you can skip it no need to answer if you don't know no need to answer because then you are going to get zero but if you will do incorrect then you are going to get a negative so if you don't know if you are not getting the uh, correct answer leave that one leave that give that question. okay okay so it is finding the gcd of two number n and m n is greater than equal to a if i take gcd of n and 6 okay n is always going to be greater they have Said you in the question only in the following C function. So if n mod m and that ten mod six is going to is is it equal equal to zero? No, its remainder is going to four. They so it is not equal to four. Then n is going to your now n it was the n m now n is going to your that ten mod six is going to your four. Now again it is going to call the GCD on m m is your six and n is your four like this. Now again, GCD on six four you will, they, it will get called. Now six mod four is equal equal to zero. No, six four is not. So again, n again n is going to call. So n is the remainder. N is the remainder of that. Whenever this is not the, this is not the C. M is going to your GCD. Whenever M is not dividing n, then you are finding the remainder and again calling the function. See, I have taught you in the Euclidean algorithm by using how to find the GCD of two number. Okay. So that is going to be remainder two. Now GCD will be call on m m is your four. Now see it is divisible. So now it will return two. GCD of these two is going to your two like this. Now they are asking how many recursive function call are made by this function. How many recursive function? Call? Now in worst case, what can happen? You are calling these recursive call on the two consecutive Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series. Okay, let me write the words Fibonacci series. Zero, then one, then add these two is going to your one plus one is two, two plus one is your three, three plus two is your five, five plus three, eight. Then eight, eight five is your eight five is your thirteen. Then thirteen twenty one. Then four. Then three. So it is going to your four three. Yeah, correct. Then five. Then fifty five. Then Take some number like nine, then eight, then fourteen, fourteen. Like this, okay. So like this, it will go. Answer is I think so. No, A is the correct one. A is the correct option here. Okay, answer. Now see how A. So in worst case, what can happen? They are asking you how many recursive call can be made by this function. So in worst case, what can happen? I am calling this GCD. Okay, I am calling this GCD. N should be greater. I am calling on N one forty four and eighty nine. One forty four and eighty nine. Now see here. Now tell me if you uh, if you do this is N, this is M. Okay. If you divide one forty four, if you do one forty four by mod eighty nine. How? What are you going to get? Let me know, you people. Please let me know. What are you going to get? One forty-four mod eighty-nine. What are you going to get? Tell me, you guys. What will you get? Is it going to zero? 
Is it zero or something else? Is it divisible? Fifty-five. Correct, Himanshu. Because it is not going to divisible. So now n is going to your n is going to your fifty-five. So now GCD will call on m and this new n. M is going to your eighty-nine, and this is going to your fifty-five. Now again, it is not divisible. Again, it is not divisible. Again, GCD will call on. GCD will call on fifty-five, then thirty-four, then thirty-four. Because if you divide eighty nine mod fifty-five, you are going to get thirty-four. Here you are going to get fifty-five like this. Again, if you do again, it will not get divisible. Now GCD will call on thirty-four, and then twenty-one, then twenty-one, then GCD on twenty-one, then thirty like this. See here, first fourteen, then eighty-nine, then eighty-nine, then fifty-five, then fifty-five, then Thirty-four, then thirty-four, then twenty-one, then twenty-one, then thirteen, then thirteen, then thirteen eight, then eight five, five three, three two, then two one. Like this, it is going. To. So if you see, if you if I will write the Fibonacci series for bigger number, na if I will even increase for bigger number, you will see that it is dividing by half. It is dividing the problem by half. It is dividing the problem by half. Okay. So if you draw the recurrence tree. So in in worst case it is in asymptotic wise it is going to take it off log n it off log because if you see we are taking any two number in such a way that it it comes in the half it comes in half okay because we need to go to the worst case so if let me write that first you write this then I will explain then I will give the explanation of this. कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे रहेंगे जो आप एग्जाम के पहले अगर नहीं देखें तो वो करना डिफिकल्ट है दिस इज वन ऑफ सेम क्वेश्चन लाइक दैट एग्जाम से पहले अगर ये क्वेश्चन आप नहीं देखें तो आपके दिमाग में हिंट्स आएगा ही नहीं इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू इन एग्जाम यू विल थिंक दैट इफ आई गिव एनो के सीरीज इट विल गोइंग टू बी वर्स्ट केस एंड इट इज ऑलवेज टेकिंग दीन्स यू आर चूजिंग टू नंबर इन सच एल दैट दंबर फंक्शन कॉल इज गेटिंग इनक्रीज सो इट इज डिवाइडिंग बाई हाफ इट इज गोइंग हाफ इट इज ऑलवेज Going to be half like this, not exactly, but tends to be half. Tends to be half. Okay, so that's why it's theta going to be log of, log of n. Understood? Is it clear? Please let me know whether it is clear or not. So let me write that first case will arise. First case will arise when when both when both n and m are see till now whatever question we have seen in time complexity i am by seeing your comment i can say that all the questions are of good standard and even difficult one so you can see the quality of questions that you are getting from the time complexity topic okay so worst case mean arise when both n and m n and m are consecutive consecutive pivo noki number okay so what will happen if you call gcd on fn of fn and fn minus 1 then it will again call on f n minus 1 fn minus 1 gcd on fn minus 1 We we'll call GCD on f n minus one, then f n minus two, like this it will go. Then again it will call GCD on f n minus two, then f n minus three, like this it will go. Like this it is going to go until GCD f one, or you can see here till here if we we'll go till here if it is f zero f one. F two, so or F three, so F three F two you will get. Then you can say that. Then you can say that you are going to get one. So till F three F two you will go. F three F two. Then also you are going to get F two as the GCD or one like this. Okay. So you are going to get one. Okay. So in worst case, so you can write so to find. GCD of n and m number of recursion call number of 
रिकर्सिव कॉल नंबर ऑफ रिकर्सिव कॉल्स विल बी विल बी थीटा विल बी थीटा ओके सो आई हैव इवन एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ इट्स थीटा लॉग है देन आई इवन आई हैव गिवन यू द एक्सप्लेनेशन ओके दिस इज द uh way i have explained you now explanation i have written so this you can write because later when you will see that question so you by saying that you can recall that you can recall that how these things will strike in your mind see rathor even if uh, when i was in my college time this these things was not coming in first time first time i was also not able to answer these questions in my college day see how with practice and see if you see the toppers interview they will say that they have did they, they generally did do previous year gate question previous year gate question previous year gate questions at least two times at least generally i have seen three generally i have seen three at least three times they are doing so after doing three times that the way to solve the questions that will comes in your mind okay that will comes in your mind. नहीं होगा या फिर कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे रहेंगे जो कुछ ही लोग कर पाएंगे तो जो ये क्वेश्चन देखा होगा पहले से वही इसका आंसर दे पाए ठीक है तो फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट्स वाई आई रिकमेंड टू ऑल ऑफ यू दैट यू शुड डू लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स और एटलीस्ट थर्टी आई एम सॉल्विंग है थर्टी थ्री ईयर्स यू एटलीस्ट डू लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स गेट क्वेश्चन लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स प्रीवियस ईयर गेट क्वेश्चन इफ यूल डू At least two times, then it was going to be helpful. मुझे याद है अपने टाइम हम लोग क्वेश्चन देख के हमें आंसर याद बोल देते हैं कि आप देखिए आप जब क्वेश्चन देखेंगे ऐसा प्रैक्टिस होना चाहिए ना जस्ट बाई सींग क्वेश्चन यू कैन गिव द आंसर सर दिस इज द आंसर तो आप समझ जाएंगे मतलब समझ के करना है लेकिन इतना प्रैक्टिस हो जाए ये उसी का अच्छा रैंक आएगा एक चीज आप जान के रहिएगा जो इंटेलिजेंट है उसका नहीं आएगा इतना तो मैं गारंटी दे सकता हूँ इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू टेस्ट द इंटेलिजेंस इट इज गोइंग टू टेस्ट Whether you are hard working or not, hard working or not, smart working जो concept है ना smart working क्या होता है smart working ये concept है कि आप hard work को hard work के साथ आप hard work में अगर आप smartly काम करते हैं intelligence लगाते हैं ठीक है तो वो बनता है आपका smart work ठीक है तो smart working क्या हो गया मतलब हमें preparation strategy पता होना चाहिए कि क्या हमें करना है और क्या नहीं करना Napoleon Hill has uh, said in there that deciding what not to do is as important as deciding what to do. Deciding what not to do is as important is as important as deciding what to do. What to do? And these things I apply in this gate exam. And I say that deciding what not to study, what not to study is as important as deciding what to study. Okay. So some people start studying from everywhere, from everywhere. If they are getting any concept from somewhere, they will go and start learning from there. So they are not getting synchronized and structured. They are not learning. They are learning from haphazardly everything. So that is not going to be a good strategy for any for any competitive exam. I think so. For gate, it is not that I can give a guarantee. So you should have a you know start that how to first you should know how you can get a good rank in gate how you should get a good rank. So then if you know that this by that how you can get a good rank in gate, then by using hard working you can do smart work and you can get a good rank. Okay. So the first key is that you should have a very good command on your last thirty three years or thirty years gate questions. because that will give an idea because the pattern of the questions are getting repeated if you take any coaching institute test series na this is my own opinion you will get that the questions they are framing just like the gate questions because you are going to see it on gate exam only na so they are analyzing the last 30 years or 33 years questions okay so like this you have to do so Rashid is saying, sir, should I first solve topic-wise question of a subject, or should I jump to previous year that? Should I first solve topic-wise questions? See, topic-wise, first see the questions, then 